minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. Early in second stage, burn. On the screen, you can see the performance of the vehicle at this time, flying straight and narrow from the in, uh, intended path. payload has separated from the rocket and is now on a trajectory to approach its test conditions. Um, these test conditions are reached at a designated altitude, at the right velocity, and the correct vehicle attitude. So we received confirmation that the payload has reached its targeted conditions, and this marks the end of the test. Now, even though the deployment of the payload was the main objective of this test, we wanted to see if we can get extra parachute data, and we actually just received telemetry indicating that the parachute has deployed as expected. So the Aspire team is now deploying recovery boats um, to converge on the anticipated splashdown location um, so that we can retrieve all the valuable data that we have that's on the vehicle, which includes data about the deployment of the payload, and also bonus data about the parachute inflation.